slow down. Straight up, go up. Good girl, like this, gonna make your ass slow down. Slow down. Okay. Okay. So instead of another Phantom Forces video, I'm probably going to be doing this Pokemon video. Uh, link to the script I made will be in the description. It's not really done yet. But I just kind of felt like showcasing it just because, you know. Here's the features. Give all game passes. Give objects. Give Pokemon. This is probably not going to be added until like a long time in the future. Uh, change Pokemon rank, give money, TP to player, no clip, TP to places, edit Pokemon settings. This right here and uh, this are not done yet. And neither is this, but this is working. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show this. You also need a level 7, I'm just gonna say that right now, because I'm probably gonna put that in the title too, because otherwise people will get triggered. Hold on, actually. Fine. This should work better. There we go. There we go. So you join the game. Uh, for those of you that have Proto, it'll probably work best for, but it'll work for almost anything. Lewis C does not work. You'll have to actually have like a full out script executor. This is not anywhere close to being done, I'm just saying. Uh you can got you guys can ignore this if you guys are using this cuz this is just checking to see if the exploit is stable. So if they ever patch it, that I can always be sure to fix it. And I'll show if it's stable or not. Um, but yeah, we got give Pokemon. That's not even been started yet. Uh, you got Poke settings. Also not been started. You would see all your Pokemon here. Okay, I was wondering why it didn't work. Change Poke rank. Um, I'll give you guys an example of that. All right, so. You guys see the onyx in my party. Here, I'm going to open the stats. Level 5. We're going to close out of this. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can type in the name of it. Um, There's no nicknames. If there's nicknames, it won't work because it won't find it in your party. So you have to type in the actual name of the Pokemon for it to work. So, and then you would, if you want it to um, just add one, then just click submit while it says amount of levels. And I should just give it one, level six now. And then if you want it to be like, there is no limit, and plus two, this doesn't save. So if you save, it'll just reset your Pokemon's rank. So I highly suggest you use like a wild Pokemon. Plus two, this won't work in online. It'll only work on like trainers and stuff and wild Pokemon and Elite Four and gyms and all that. But still, I just thought it'd be cool to do. So we do like 31,000, for example, submit. Um, it says his level is 31,000, but it shows his stats are the same. To fix this, you would go into, um, a battle or something. There we go. We're gonna go in here in the grass. Find someone. Alright, and then it automatically sets, so then you can run. And then your Pokemon's health... Alright, so, as you guys can see, uh, okay, so originally the Onyx was level 5, so of course it's not going to be, it'll probably just like hurt it, it won't do much, but as you can see, it knows all of its moves now, and it can instantly kill anything, including Team 11, like, uh, not Team 11's, uh, the Elite Four's Pokemon, instantly. Well, that's how that works. Now I'm going to show you the object giver, because the object giver is somewhat broken. Alright. So, for example, if I wanted to te teleport to Model Chunk, I could simply just type in his name, go to him. Um, you got TP menu. 
I'm gonna add a lot more to this. Trust me, this isn't the end. Um, I'm gonna pokey center really quick. All right, this is someone. I think this is Fuchsia, but I'm not sure. All right, so you would click Give Objects, and then you would type in the name you want. Be sure you don't use. Be sure you use grammar. Uh, so for example, I could do Ultra Ball. Now the only problem with this is you can give yourself as much as you want and it will put it in your it'll it will put it in here for some reason it just puts it in your medicine but what I would do is I would um I would give it to a Pokemon and then I would go into party and then you can just remove it from them like this and then you'll have the extra uh, Pokeball now I'm also gonna for the object giver after this video I'm probably going to add a give all section so if you um, go to give objects and you just do all uh, and then you just click submit or just put a number in you want it'll give you as much as that as you want but also a funny thing you can do to like show people and stuff you can also put like other like non non possible things in your inventory like you can do um, for example aim bot or something I don't know and you submit it and then you go to your bag and then you go down and there's tons of these things now it's like it's kind of a glitch because you know it's, but still it's there as you guys can see I did this too pretty lit and then spam money I did that earlier but I will show it now just cause you know whatever fine here's proof that I um that it works just so you guys know 40 alright so I only have 40 million and then I'll click spam money spam money and then I'll go back on trainer 40 uh, for a, 41 million give it a few minutes or a few seconds and we'll hop back on Boom, it's going up gradually, you can tell. It doesn't look like much of a change to my screen because, you know, it's literally $42 million. But for those of you just starting on the game, it's probably a lot. But $41 million is more than enough. Um, give Pokemon, like I said, it's going to be worked on. Um, you have all game passes. You can, um, you won't be able to really notice, but you will have, you will be, a, you will have all game passes. Like, you can tell that I'm running a lot faster than I was before, because there is run VIP in this game. Plus two, there's a lot more, like, legend, now I have, like, a greater chance of finding legendaries and stuff. And if you go to the, um... If you go to the uh, Pokey Center, I'm not sure which Pokey Center it is. There's actually a guy that will give you something for having all the badges. I mean, um, a game pass. This guy will give you a Mew. This guy will just ask you if you have that, whatever. And then this guy will give you a legendary dog. So that's probably good if you're starting off. So yeah, that's probably what that's all about. We're probably also going to be like adding a lot more too. I'm probably going to be adding like, uh, like right here will be where you can, on the Pokey settings, will be where you can change your Pokemon stats. You'll click on them and it'll, you know, all that. So it'll be pretty cool. Also, I'm probably going to be releasing a um, Phantom Forces script sometime or another that I've worked on. It's not It's not even close to being done. I don't even know why it's not working. Uh, the ESP is not working for some reason. I think um, Phantom Forces made an anti-exploit for it. Here it is. Albino Aimbot. Alright, and then it shows all this. basically a whole bunch of freaking um the only problem is it just needs to be fixed but yeah that's how that works 
that's basically what you can do with this. I'm probably gonna be, I'm gonna start studying Pokemon Brick Bronze's um, scripts and stuff, so then I can make a GUI off that. So, then I can release that to you guys and see how long it is before they patch it. Well, let's, let's see how long that takes. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys wanna see another video where I give away free scripts or something that I've made, just comment or like or whatever. If you're new, subscribe. And peace out.